Moto Good CMG X21 Flying Fortress Review and Price 2017. The changes made to the California platform when creating the MG X21 are both painfully obvious and hidden away. In the obvious column, we have the big, 21-inch front wheel, while keeping the 16-incher outback, the fork-mounted fairing, the swoopy saddlebags, and a liberal application of carbon fiber. When Miguel Galazzi, Piaggio Advance Design Director and creator of the MGX, is asked about his inspiration for the design, he answers with one word, Bonneville. No, he's not referring to the motorcycle but rather the machinery that traverses the famous salt flats at speed. Although many of us envision spindly, earthbound rocket ships when thinking of Bonneville, I believe the style that Galaxy is looking towards is the era when people were making land speed racers out of old airplane external fuel pods or, perhaps, purpose-built vehicles, like the Stutz Black Hawk Special. These machines tapered back to a point much like the prototype model of the MGX shown at ECMA in 2014. Regardless, with Moto Guzzi being the first manufacturer to have a wind tunnel built exclusively for motorcycles, slippery design is part of the company's heritage. Large-sized front wheels can also create handling issues that need to be addressed. If all things remain constant, mounting a larger diameter wheel increases rake and trail, slowing steering. Since the MGX21 would be using the same frame, the geometry needed to be adjusted via the triple clamp offset, settling on 27.8 degrees rake and 4.7 inches of trail. The end result is a motorcycle that steers with a level of effort that belies the diameter of the wheel. While the Larry does prevent the problem it was meant to solve, it returns a strange feeling when making full lock turns. Rather than have the grips reach full lock and stay there, as with all other motorcycles, the Larry pushes back, requiring additional force to hold the fork in place. This can be disconcerting in parking lot maneuvers or when making U-turns. It doesn't affect steering at any other time, though. Another characteristic of the MGX at low speeds is that it seems to gain weight as the speed transitions down from road speed to a walking pace, feeling unbalanced at times. Although, at a claimed 701 pounds, the MGX is approximately 110 pounds and 160 pounds lighter than either the Street Glide and the Chieftain, respectively, the MGX feels heavier when paddled backwards out of a parking space. Those who are short in the inseam may find this maneuver particularly difficult. Thanks for watching.